naturally you are excited about machine learning and you would love to join the party perhaps a company might have tons of data such as user logs financial data production data machine sensor data hotline stats hr reports etc and more than likely you could unearth some hidden gems if you just knew where to look for example segment the customers and find the best marketing strategy for each groups recommend products for each clients based on what similar clients brought detect which transactions are likely to be fraudulent predict next year's revenue and more whatever the reasons you have decided to learn machine learning and implement it in your projects it's really a great idea and i will help you with it i assume that you know close to nothing about machine learning the goal is to give the concepts and the intuition and the tools you need to actually implement the programs and also capable of learning from data we will cover a large number of techniques used from the simplest and the most commonly used such as linear regression to some of the deep learning techniques used that regularly wins the competition rather than implementing our own toy version of each algorithm we will be using actual production ready python frameworks such as skykit learn and tensorflow skykit learn is very easy to use yet it implements many machine learning algorithms effectively so it may makes a great entry point to learn machine learning tensorflow is more complex libraries for distributed numerical computation using data flow graphs it makes it possible to train and run very large neural networks effectively by distributing the computations across potentially thousands of multi gpu servers tensorflow was created at google and supports many of their large scale machine learning applications it was open sourced in november 2015 when most people hear machine learning they picture a robot a dependable butler or a deadly terminator depending on who you ask but machine learning is not just a futuristic fantasy it is already here in fact it has been around for decades in some specialized application such as optical character recognition but the first ml application that really became mainstream improving the lives of hundreds of millions of people took over the world back in 1990s it was the spam filter where does machine learning start and where does it end what exactly does it mean for a machine to learn something if i download a copy of wikipedia has my computer really learned something is it suddenly smarter in this video we will start by clarifying what machine learning is and why you may want to use it machine learning is the science of programming computers so they can learn from data according to author samuel machine learning is the field of study that gives the computers the ability to learn without being explicitly programmed let's take an example of spam filter spam filter is a machine learning program that can learn to flag the spam given examples of spam emails and examples of regular emails the example that the system uses to learn are called training sets each training example is called the training instance in this case the task t is to flag the spam for new emails the experience e is the training data and the performance measure p needs to be defined for example we can use the ratio of correctly classified emails as performance this particular performance measure is called accuracy and it is often used why we use machine learning to make this statement clear we need to compare the traditional programming technique with machine learning consider how you would write a spam filter using traditional programming technique the first step would be to look at what spam typically looks like you might notice that some words or phrase tends to come up a lot in the subjects perhaps 
you would also notice a few other patterns in the sender's name, the email's body and so on. The second step would be to write a detection algorithm for each of the patterns that you noticed and your program would flag the emails as spam if a number of these patterns are detected. The third step would be to test your programs and repeat step 1 and 2 until it is good enough. Since the program is not trivial, your program will likely become a longer list of complex rules pretty hard to maintain. Moreover, if a spammer notices that all these mails containing a word are being blocked, they might start writing other words instead of those being blocked. A spam filter using traditional programming technique you would need to be updated to flag the emails. If spammer keeps working around your spam filter, you need to keep writing new rules forever. In contrast, a spam filter based on machine learning technique you automatically notice the words being blocked and also start flagging the other words without your intervention. Another area where machine learning shines is for problems that either are too complex for traditional approaches or have no known algorithm. For example, consider speech recognition. Say you want to start a simple and write a program capable of distinguishing the words 1 and 2. You might notice that the word 2 starts with a high pitched sound. So you could hard code an algorithm that measures high pitch sound intensity and use that to distinguish 1s and 2s. Obviously, this technique will not scale to thousands of words spoken by millions of very different peoples in noisy environment and in a dozens of languages. The best solution is to write an algorithm that learns by itself, given many example recording for each word. Finally, machine learning can help humans learn ML algorithms can be inspected to see what they have learned. For instance, once the spam filter has been trained on an app spam, it can easily be inspected to reveal the list of words and combinations of words that it believes as the best predictors of spam. Sometimes this will re reveal unsuspected correlations or new trends and thereby lead to a better understanding of the problem. To summarize, machine learning is great firstly for problems for which existing solutions requires a lot of hand tuning or long lists of rules. It is also great for complex problems for which there is no good solutions at all using traditional approach. Finally, it is also good for flexible environment as machine learning systems can adapt to new data okay friends in the next video we will see the different types of machine learning system until then it's bye from our team bye bye